Jensen, are you still in your room? Get yourself out of the bed and come down here right now. Our guests are coming to our place. What guest, Dad? My new lover and her son. Hold on a sec. You mean I'll have a stepmother and a stepbrother, right? Indeed, boy. Yeah, sounds interesting. But I hope they are non-toxic people. Don't worry. She's a kind and charming person. Okay, Dad. I will tell my grandfather to deal with her if my stepmother dares to be mean to me. Whatever. Sooner than two hours later. Our guests have arrived. Mind your attitude, son. Okay, fine. Huh, what is this? Give me a few minutes, Dad. My friend just texted me. What, he's going to meet a new father and a new brother too? Maybe this is just a coincidence. Jensen? Scott. Huh, do you guys know each other? That's right, Dad. He's my friend. But this is the first time we meet in person. I don't care about that nonsense. Tell your son to clean up the house already. Hey, you crazy pepper witch. Don't command me like that. Otherwise, I'll tell my grandfather. He'll make you pay a thousand times. You little rodent. Is that how you speak to your guest? Enough, both of you. Hey, bruh, I have to skateboards here. Do you want me to give you one? We'll play it together. Good idea. Let's play. I don't think so. Come on, mom. Why would you do that? You know what? You just did a stupid thing. Grandpa, a little help, please. What the? Did you just teleport here? Yeah, and are you ready for your punishment? Hey, what will you do to me? Cuts hair with 1% of her power. Oh my god. Hamsters. I hate rodents. Get them off me. Don't you dare to bully my nephew again. How hilarious. Lol. I can't stop laughing. Shut up, kiddo. Hey, have you forgotten what just happened here? I'll call my grandpa again. And this time, it won't be easy on you. <laughs> Son, what are you laughing at? Sorry for laughing, Mom. Cut it out. All right, just stop. I'll get you both skateboards later. Really? How awesome. You're the best, Dad. Okay, okay. Very well. And here, your gifts. Wow, this MacBook is not a normal one, but a pro one. Thank you, Dad. I super love it. Hey, that looks modern. Kiddo, give that to my son. Mind your word, you pepper witch. You want to meet my grandpa again, huh? Oh my freaking god. What is on my head? No, no, stop it. Leave us alone. Okay, I'm going to the supermarket now. Bye bye. At the store. Hey, boy. Are you here all by yourself? Yeah. And I want a lottery ticket. How much, man? Three dollars. Okay, thank you. Scott ran back home after getting the ticket. I'm home. Is that a lottery ticket? Yeah, I want to try my luck. Scratch it, buddy. I'm doing it. The moment of truth. Holy guacamole. Five hundred million. We're rich now. I'm your mother, so give me half of it. Excuse me, did you give birth to me? Or did you raise me for any day? He's right. You are so toxic to my son. Let's break up. Hey, you can't leave me. I'm your queen, and you are my king, Kyle. Sorry, but this is modern life, not the ancient age. There is neither a king nor a queen in our country. That's my dad. Let's go. I'll buy us a penthouse. That sounds great. Can I join? Yes, you can. But that pepper witch can't. Hey, are you going to leave me? Sorry, Mom. I'll get back to you later. 
See, even your son left you. Who, who, who? My son left me. At a fancy penthouse. Let's buy this place. Okay, I like this one too. I also sent half of my money to your bank account. Okay, I received the money. Done. Let's sell our old house and take what we need in it. Before moving here. Yes, Dad. They sold the old house easily and also took what was needed. A few days later. Dad, I think we need a car. Let's get a black V12 Vision GT. Yeah, I like that one too. But hey, are you sure you can drive it, Dad? Don't underestimate me, son. Dom Toretto has taught me everything about driving. The following morning. What a fancy car. Get in, boys. But there are only two seats in this car. And there are three of us. Don't worry, bro. I can share my seat with you. Thank you. After a while of driving. I love that car. Me too, bro. Thank you for giving me that gift. You are welcome, Dad. And I think I'll buy us another car too. Then we can have enough seats for everyone. Wise opinion, son. Thank you for caring about me, bruh. Haha, ha. all right, I love my family. More than six years later. Children, come here. Here we are, Dad. But what's the matter? We were about to play some games. Your stepmom and stepsister are coming to our place. Dad, I don't think it's a good idea. I think so too, but we should respect his choice. One hour later. Our guests are here. Hello, Kyle. These boy must be your son. Yet they are Scott and Jensen. They look handsome and smart. I adore them already. Thank you, Irma. Hi, madam. Good morning, children. By the way, this girl is Daisy, my daughter. Can anyone lead me to my room? Let me lead the way. Scott then led Daisy to a room. What the? I don't like this room at all. It's too small for a princess like me. Sorry, but this is the only room left here. Then move into this room and let me stay in your room, will you? Treat your guests properly. You are not the owner of this house, so stop telling me what to do. You arrogant, stupid and bad-looking rodent. Don't speak to me like that. What? Ouch. Don't insult people like that. It's not cool, you know. Be polite, or I'll kick you out of here. How could you? I'm a girl. I'll tell mommy and daddy. Help me. Scott is bullying me. Who who who? What's going on? This stupid boy won't let me have this room. Notice your attitude, Daisy. Be a well-educated girl. Mom, I'm your daughter. Why aren't you defending me? Hey, old man. Can you give me $20? I only have $2. Jesus, this must be a joke. I am a princess. Are you out of your mind? What? What on earth was that? We both had enough of you. Stop being rude if you don't want us to use full force Kryptonian punches on you. It serves you right, girl. Stop causing trouble. Thank you for being on our side. It's okay, boy. I always want to teach her to do the right thing. Daisy then locked herself in the room and turned upset. How angry, I want to make them pay. Aha, I have an idea. I will take that old man's credit card and use a lot of money. After that, I'll frame his son. Ha ha ha. How smart I am. Let's go to his room. I hope he is not there. Carl wasn't in the room, so Daisy got into it and quickly found the card. Here it is. I'll buy Robux with this card. Ha he. Oops, I need to get out of this room before I get caught. Run. The next day. Everyone, everybody. We have big trouble. What is that, Dad? One of you used my card to buy some stupid Robux. Who did this? This makes me feel similar to the game Among Us. 
Absolutely not us. Yeah, we've been playing Roblox until you called us here. Hum, I am suspecting a person. Mom, do you mean you're doubting me? I wasn't me. It was Scott for sure. We haven't accused you yet. Why so tense? Oh, Art, I'm sorry. We have our own money. Why must we use your card? That makes sense. Daisy, what did you do? Tell the truth. That's right, say it. Did you use my credit card to buy Robux? That was you, right? Ugh, how angry. I didn't expect you to say that. Stop doubting me, you stupid old man. Okay, I'm calling the cops. You are so doomed, girl. You will be sent to jail. The law will teach you to be better. We'll teach you a lesson. Enough. Stop fighting. Okay, Dad. Daisy, will you admit that you used money in my credit card? I told you. It wasn't me, it was Scott. I ran out of patience. I'll kick you out of my house. You can't. Why can't I? This is my house. This is not fair. Mom, say something. Do we have any CCTV here? Aha, uh -huh, that's right. In mind, oh no, I'll be exposed. Let's see. Yeah, I knew it. I'm speechless. You are not my daughter anymore. Who, 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 well, I'm sorry. It's too late, Daisy. This is not fair, not fair. She ran away. I hope she will stop causing trouble. I'm sorry, my bad. I'll try to make her a better person. It's okay, dear. We'll do it together. Half a decade later. Dad, can you take us to Warnerland? Okay. It's a Sunday morning today. It will be a waste if we don't go out. Can I join too? Okay, but don't cause any trouble. I won't, thank you. Okay, let's go. Alright, get in the car. Sitting in this car is so chill. I feel the same thing. Let's drive with the premium rush. Hell no. Do you want to go to heaven? Later at Warner Land. Let's play the Ferris wheel. Okay, son. Yeah, it seems adventurous. Okay, let's try it. Come on, bro. Okay, bruh. At the line. Whoa ho, yeah. Stop screaming, I'm not deaf. Never, who cares about you anyway? I should have stayed home. That's right. After a while of waiting. Now is our turn. Let's go. Make sure you tie your seat belts. Yeah, ha ha ha. It's so hard to breath. I'll take it off. You moron, what are you trying to do? Tie it up right now. I missed the part, where's that your problem? And that dummy girl fell from the Ferris wheel. Great, and now we have to send her to the hospital. Will she be okay? The ambulance arrived in the nick of time to save that troublemaker. In the hospital. What happened to her? She fell from a Ferris wheel. Oh God. Can you save her? I'm not sure, but I'll try. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. I'll do my job right away. Go to heaven, girl. I want the same thing for her. Yeah. I'm her mother, but even I can't bear her naughty and stubborn character. You should send her back to her father. That's right, I think so too. Yeah. I should have thought about that sooner. I'll do it, if she can overcome this. Come on, let's go out. You should take a break. I know a Vietnamese restaurant near here. We should eat something while waiting. Good idea. One hour later. Let's go back to the hospital. Yes, Dad. What is waiting for us there? I don't know. The only way to find out is to get there. I'm done with eating. Let's go. Back to the hospital. Doctor, how is she? She surpassed the dangerous. What? Oh no. What is that attitude? Aren't you happy with that? No, not really. But it seems like she lost her memory. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Can her memory be restored? Maybe, or maybe not. 
The chance is 50-50. You should get in and meet her. Now excuse me? I need to take care of other patients. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Let's get in. Oh, look at her. What a moron. We told you, but you didn't listen. Maybe this is the best. Baby, you should bring her to her father. I want to, but I can't. Why? Do you still care about her? It's not that. Her father moved to another country years ago. Oh great. Then what is your decision now? I'll take her to the orphanage. Wise decision. We'll pick her out if she can change. Okay. Who are you guys? What are you doing here? You had an accident, so we brought you here. But it's all okay now. Is that so? Yeah, take your rest. We'll be back later and take you home. Where is my home? I can't remember anything. Absolutely not our home. Yeah, your house is at the orphanage. M.M. A few days later, Kyle and Irma brought her to the orphanage. And one year later, all her memory came back to her. Hoo hoo hoo, I remembered everything. I was a naughty and annoying girl. That's why even my mother left me. Mama please forgive me and take me home. I'll change. I won't be a spoiled girl anymore. Are you sure about that? What mom? Who who who, I missed you. And yes, I'm sure. Please take me home. Scott, would you give her a chance? That house is yours, would you take her in? Hum, okay. But you'll stay in that small room. Is that okay with you? Yes, it's okay. I'll be grateful. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. Scott, I thank you for that. All right, let's take you home, but keep your words. I will. The end.